right, ladies and gentlemen, if you will, please make sure you have something to write with and something to write on. You are getting a ton of information, um, and it's things that are very important to you over the next coming weeks. Um, so please make sure you've got something to write with and write on. I do want to also let you know that we have um, a video recording of this right now. So please keep in mind, if you know the people that are absent or people who are not normally here, please let them know we will have this on the website. We will also post it to social media so you can get that link. Um, and then you yourselves can go back to this as needed. Uh, we are not mic'd in here in the um, theater, but we are mic'd for the video. So please just bear with us. If you can't hear us, um, let us know and we'll get that taken care of. Okay, so we are here today talking about a lot of things that are going to affect you over the next couple of weeks, everything from graduation to yearbook day and everything in between. Um, so please, please, please pay attention. Uh, be quiet so we can hear all that kind of stuff. If you have questions, ask them, um, but we'll do that sometime at the end. If the bell rings while we are still in here, please make sure that you stay until this meeting is over. If you have to go to work or something like that, then move yourself to the end where you're not getting out of the middle and climbing over everybody to get out. Everybody understand? Okay, cool. So let's go ahead and get this out of the way. You have 38 days. Yes, be excited. Uh, for some of you, this is sad. Last year, at least they were pumped. Apparently, y'all are not excited about graduation. Yes. So, so, this is going to be the longest 38 days of your life so far, but it will be here before you know it. And then next year, you're going to be like, oh man, fun times. So, uh, you have 38 days until graduation, so we've got a lot of things to talk about between now and then. All right, so the first thing we want to talk about is Senior Awards Night. Um, if you are getting something at this, you will be invited, like it'll come in the mail. That is May 8th at 7.30 at Lakewood Baptist Church. All right, so we're going to talk about baccalaureate. All right. Okay, guys, baccalaureate service is on uh, May 21st. That's a Sunday, and it's at 1.30 at the St. Paul United Methodist Church. When we say graduation attire, if you want to attend, uh, cap and gowns, bring those, I believe, as part of it. You will sit with your ca in your cap and gown, but you still need to be dressed appropriately like you would be for graduation. This is a, a really great service where it's kind of like a pep rally for you. Sorry. Uh, kind of like a pep rally for you. All right. Where I'm ready for my close up, Mr. DeMille. Okay. Uh, <clears throat> all right. So it's a pep rally for you to attend, uh, to kind of get ready for graduation. It is student led. There will be music. There will be a couple of speakers and everything to give you, get you pumped up and get you ready for, for graduation. Your parents are invited and at the, uh, afterwards there's going to be uh, light refreshments and everything. So we would love for you to attend. If you have any more questions, you can email me or Miss Tipton about it. Okay, thank you. All right, yearbook information. Yearbook day is Friday, May 5th. For you guys, your senior cookout will be from 1110 until 240. Uh, for that day, you need to wear your intended college, tech school, career, or military shirts. Um, you can have hats and sunglasses for when you are outside. Uh, you can also bring outdoor games, so like footballs, that kind of stuff um, to play with while you're there. Uh, you guys will have food and stuff for lunch, but there will be an ice cream truck, so make sure you bring cash for that as well. Um, on that, you will do a senior walkout at the end of that time. So after 2.40 um, is the last time that you'll walk. Not really last time because it's not really your last day, but as a group, y'all will actually walk through um, in your cap and gown. So if you remember that from the past couple of years we did it, it's pretty cool. Um, but once you walk out, and out the doors, whichever place you go out last, uh, you can leave at that point. So that is your plan for May 5th. Miss um, White also said that if you've not bought a, bought a yearbook, she still has some available, but they are cash only, and it's $80. Uh, so you can see her in room 65 on the English Hall uh, to place that order. Okay, do not wait until yearbook day because they could be all gone. All right, final transcript requests. Mr. R, do you want to go ahead and come on, and we'll pause and wait for you? Okay. Good morning. 
For those of you going to college, you must prove to them that you graduated high school. So we'll help you with that with a final transcript, but I need you to fill out a form for me and bring to the counselor's office. I have forms today, so please pick up one um, before you leave and just mark, make sure to fill it out and turn it in before graduation. And we send those to the colleges you tell us to right after graduation. Yeah, we'll have them at the back doors too, okay? So just make sure to pick up one. Oh, those of you who are hoping that you're eligible for HOPE Scholarship, you must check that eligibility yourself this summer. It's not available until the end of June or early July, and you have to do that on the Georgia Futures website, which a lot of you use for your college applications. I will give you a little reminder of how to do that before you leave here but just know that's gonna be your responsibility to do that. We'll give you a final transcript with your diploma at graduation, but that GPA is not your HOPE GPA. HOPE is only academic, so that's why you have to go to a different place to check that, okay? Yeah. Hey, I'm I'm Miss Spence, for those of you who don't know me. Um, red letters, we are encouraging your parents, your grandparents, your aunts, uncles, friends, whatever, to write letters of, co of congratulations for you all. And we collect those here at school and we give you an envelope at graduation day that has all of that in there. And a letter was ma mailed home with you, or with the graduation letter, excuse me, for you this week. Have we sent those out, Miss Lambeth? Okay, so you should be looking forward to those in your mailboxes, and it will have all the same information that we're going over here as well. But please ask the people who are writing you letters not to send big, huge things, because we have really no way to put those into an 8 by you know, 11 envelope. So please you know, make that you know, suggestion to them accordingly. Also, you know, they shouldn't put money or gift cards in there either, which is great. They're giving this to you, but if you could, please ask them just, hey, come to my graduation party and bring those to me then. All right, graduation tickets. This is from Skogman, so please listen carefully on this. Each graduate will receive nine tickets to distribute as they wish. You get 10 if you went to commit to the C. Um, I don't know how to say this any other way, so I'm, I typed it the way Skogman said it. Skogman does not have extra tickets. He does not have extra tickets. Do not ask him for extras. Don't go up to him and say, I need 22 more. He will tell you no, okay? Um, he said, in order to get your tickets in the first place, you will be completing your final senior pink, pink sheet, which you get your last week of school. Um, so that has to be complete before you can go pick it up. So one thing Skogman did say is that when you go get the pink sheet um, and you start having to get teacher signatures and there's some places and people that have to sign, um, please do not interrupt someone's class to get them to sign something. I'm going to say that one more time. Do not interrupt someone's class to get them to sign something. All right, so he will have his ticket pickup hours on the sheet. Um, he said, he's like, straight up, if you interrupt me during outside of those hours, you'll be told to go away. So just be aware of that because your teachers are still teaching. Um, people still have jobs they have to do, and it's not to cater to you guys, that kind of stuff. So just don't get mad about that if you're interrupting somebody's class and they tell you to leave. All right, so senior pink sheets. This, yes. All right, I'm going to say that one more time so it's on the recording. Every person going through a graduation, including a newborn baby, has to have a physical ticket, and that is by order of the fire marshal. So everybody has to have a ticket, even if that person is six weeks old. All right, so this is what the senior pink sheet looks like. Up here it says, are you participating in the graduation ceremony? You actually have to say yes or no. 
This is where your teachers will sign. Did you pass or fail? They'll sign it off. I know for me that there were some students, I could not sign this until the last day for seniors because I had kids that they may or may not pass. So just be aware of that. If your teacher says, I can't sign it right now, that's why. So just have a heads up. All right, down at the bottom, you're gonna have other things. We have to sign off on it in the media center to make sure your fines and fees are paid. So if you owe 30 bucks, understand you don't get this. Like you will not get your tickets until that fine is taken care of. So to give you all an idea, go ahead and take care of these now. All right, if you know that you have fines, if you know you owe things, do that. Uh, Ms. Hamby will sign off, making sure you've turned in your textbooks. Ms. Lambeth will sign off in the counseling office. Ms. Rudd signs off for Jostens. And that's that you've taken care of everything that you owe that particular company. Yes, so there will be a section for Ms. Intrican um, and the lunchroom staff to sign as well. Because if you have an outstanding lunch charge, you'll have to do that. Um, and then this final section has to be signed by you and a parent. I also want to tell you, this is on your sheet. If you lose this sheet, you have to come to the media center and pay $5 to get another one. Oh, 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 don't lose it. Yes. Um. All right, continuing on. And one other thing, um, it's come to our attention that some people who do have extra graduation tickets, and that's awesome, have been selling them to other people, that is not the worry go away people, okay? You receive those for free, please graciously pass those on to other people in the same spirit, okay? Amen, thank you. All right, so this is everything here. One thing I will say, if you are off campus and you are not present all seven periods, um, it does have a section that says that you've got to get the counseling to sign, like counseling office has to sign those missing blocks. So if you're two periods at UNG or something like that, they will have to sign those. So there's more directions and all in here. It gives you all this kind of stuff. Um, graduation day oh, is Saturday, May 27th. This is going to be at Free Chapel. Rehearsal is at 8.15. If you do not attend rehearsal, you do not walk at graduation. 8.15. Graduation is at 11 o'clock. Please tell your people doors will open at 10.15. Okay, doors open at 10.15. Please eat before you go to rehearsal. You have to have your cap and gown. And no, you cannot leave once rehearsal is over and plan to be back when graduation starts. You do not have that option. Um, down here at the bottom, I know it's a little hard to see, but it says make sure you pick up your diploma before you leave graduation. I know Ms. Lambeth can attest to this. Every year, we've got students so excited, they're like, woo, I'm done, and then they leave their diploma. So you will pick that up after graduation from your senior advisor. They will have sections, there'll be a place with their name, and you will come and physically get your diploma and final transcript from them. So on graduation day, um, Katie Studios will be there as well for group shot, individual hand shaped portraits. You'll get information on those as well. All right, um, this is what's coming in the mail. Make sure your people read that very carefully. And finally, let's talk about appropriate graduation attire. Ladies, dress or skirt with appropriate shoes. No sneakers, no flip flops. Gentlemen, dark or khaki pants, a shirt and tie with dress shoes, no sneakers, or flip-flops. If you have, also, ladies, I know you got super cute heels. Be aware, you are walking up like eight steps, and you're going to walk down eight steps. And I mean, they're steep. Please don't be the one to fall. Because no one will laugh, I promise. Sam. <laughs> All right, so that is your graduation attire. If you have questions about this, or you need help locating certain things, or you want to check and make sure that your shoes are okay, or your clothes are okay, ask. Okay, ask. Although all the robes are dark colors, 
all the, all the robes are dark colors, so it doesn't matter, you know, what you, ladies, what color dresses you wear, but, you know, your footwear is important. I love to wear heels, but don't, if you're not comfortable wearing heels, don't make the graduation the very first time you're wearing a pair of heels, okay? And gentlemen, you know, make sure your pant, you have appropriate pants, khakis or dark slacks, a nice dress shoe, and you'll be looking wonderful for graduation. Thank you. Okay, guys, just really quickly, first of all, Thank you for your attention. First of all, it is a glorious day. Graduation day is, and we're going to be so excited, and we are going to celebrate with you. But along those lines, I really think we should have a fourth C in the Warrego way, and that word is classy. We are going to be classy. If you want to participate, you will be classy. Got it? So that means that your graduation regalia, that's your gown and your hat, will be just as it is when it's issued to you. So there's nothing extra added. There's nothing on caps added. The correct attire will be added or you will not walk. No exceptions, okay? Let's make sure we're clear about that. In all of my years, we've never, bless you, we've never had a problem this is a great day. Folks are on their best behavior, and I don't anticipate that being the case this time. Remember, you don't get your actual diploma when you walk across, and should you want that actual diploma, then you'll do what we ask you to. Does that make sense? Okay. Also, one last thing. I cannot let you leave without saying this. The mama in me will not let me. Some of you are losing your minds at this moment. I don't know what's happened. Sometimes it's during the day. More frequently, it's after dark. Something happens to you. Change. Please do not. Let me repeat that. Please do not mess up and forfeit 12 years. I've had that happen every single year that I've been principal, somebody's gone stupid, and they forfeited 12 years. It's already happened this year, and I'm afraid that some of you might be close. Please don't, in all seriousness, guys. 12 years is a long time not to get to walk with your class, and as much as I love each of you, if you mess up the day before, you will not walk with your class. Got it? So let's be smart. Let's celebrate the hard work and accomplishments you've made. Thank you.